So what I'm smoking is uh, Gorilla Glue number four. Uh, this is a hybrid strain with, uh, I don't remember it being either uh, Indica or Sativa dominant, so I believe it is just sort of an even blend of them. Uh, it's got 26.2% 26 THC and 0.05% CBD. And uh, yeah, so we're going to try this one out. And uh, we will be smoking it through a bong today, uh, or a water pipe if you prefer, rather than uh, smoking it dry. So, I seem to be feeling a little bit more of a head high from this, although Mary tried it a little bit earlier. Yes, and I, I got much more of a body high, so I feel like it is a good hybrid, and it's going to be on whatever kind of you, whatever you perceive as a better high. That's what you're going to focus on. But yeah, pretty good. And we will be pairing it with an episode of Golgo 13. Right, so five. we are starting Act 5. Uh, I am Spartacus. With me I have Spartacus. And then coming on all the way from in uh, Ireland Spartacus. Alright. And uh, Irish Spartacus. Not <laughs> English Spartacus. Yeah, he almost said England, didn't he? I, I saw that. Well, it's really all basically the same country if you think about it. Well, it should have been. But <laughs> <laughs> All right. David is going to get arrested when he's <laughs> no longer in our house. It's because he's been arrested by the Irish. So these enemies, we did see them in the previous episode. They're these ladies, I think, that are on these flying platforms and just throw paper airplanes at you. I feel like that's like Stephen Hawking. Yeah. yeah. Like floating wheels. They're really annoying. Um, and they're these laser guys. They mess you up, but they both the enemies easily kill you, but they give you a ton of health back. Going into the purple underground. So, uh, this guy asked if we'd come to help him, which yeah. is the same thing the last hostage asked, and this was the same response we gave. They repeat a lot of dialogue in this game, which is one of the reasons why it's hard to understand the plot. Well, it's complicated, because usually <laughs> these people die after we talk. Yeah, <laughs> so this is John Brudos. He's the one who made the biological weapon that we're looking for. So have I come to help you? Yes, I'm going to take the information you have, then you will be killed. So oh, this no. is where we find out the guys behind this are the Drek Conspirators. The Drek Conspirators. Drek? Yes, the Drek Leadership. Drek. Mm. D-R-E-K. And I think, isn't that like a slang term in the Shadowrun RPG? I'm pretty sure. I wouldn't know. So we're going to think about And why is sometimes A? So at the end of a conversation, you're supposed to hit B. Um, but during the conversation itself, you hit A. Oh. Oh. I don't know. It's weird. Oh. So anyway, you, you see there, it said that he, they were going to hire the man who shot down the helicopter to kill Golgo 13. But are you the guy that shot down the helicopter? No. They oh. think we're the ones because it was with an M16 bullet. They were trying to frame Golgo 13. You have to listen to his entire conversation again when you die, by the way. Um, and so then, I skipped and after through. that conversation, was that a uh, scripted death there, Zach? Uh, oh yeah, all yeah, deaths are scripted. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. Because I could've just run away, but you can't just really run through guys because you need to kill them for the health back, so it's... Um, now we're in the water. Now we're back we in the get, water. How did we get in the water? Um, we went back out the way we came. Because oh, okay. that whole base was underwater, remember? Oh, the dome okay, that just right. ended? Oh, you just right. pop you, up you in you there. You ran into the turret. Yeah. And you're on the beach. That was bad last time. But here, it's here it's just an ellipses. Okay. This lets you know you're on the right track. Okay. And now you walk back across the pier. Yep. You have to avoid the mines. The mine we blew up before, still gone. Um, this submarine battle is back. Okay. There so, it is. So do you remember the last video? Can you kind of imagine it playing, but in reverse? Yeah, I feel like that's... <laughs> well... Alright. 
still better than Star Wars because that was just a replay. Well, cool. we're this is a replay. we're gonna get to that. Um, we're gonna get to that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> settle well, down. <laughs> I'm just referencing the the. Well, so we're just waiting for a helicopter here. Um, sometimes they just don't appear. It's really annoying. Random. Oh, Random events for more life. <laughs> All right. You know? Oh, we're back to the. Uh... So I quickly duck in here. I think. Um, not because it does. And you need a dwarf. All right, it does do something. Uh, there's yes, there is a small man. His name is. <laughs> His name is something stupid like Fake Grunwald or something. I don't know. But he has the woman and the M16. He has the wine. He's they're, got everything. They're in his hands. He has a woman and it's not... We don't, I don't... There's no particular woman. I don't know which... Well, that's it. He does just <laughs> refer to her as the woman, so I don't know which woman it is. So now... But he also... So it takes us back to the concert hall for some reason. So it teleports us across the map. But we don't go into the concert hall because there's nothing in there. Um, so now we just have to wander through Athens for a while. Um, and this is the level where you can find the cigarettes. So there is at least a health pickup, but uh, I don't remember exactly where it is, and I don't find it. You don't run into it. I feel like that's the that's the wrong method. Um. Yeah, but at least they didn't see a nickel, well, Mary. At least, at least they, they didn't Joe see a Camel. nickel. We got Golgo <laughs> 13, okay? I'm just so mad they cut out the near the end of the game. You guys have no idea. These well, assholes are ducking. Can smoke, but you do they can duck that. to shoot us, so it makes them invulnerable. It's one of the worst parts of the game, really. And you can't duck to shoot them. Life is unfair, Zach, Yeah. okay? Uh, Life is unfair. I'm mad. Oh, and I'm down to like 66 hit points. I'm and, getting low. And you're somewhere different. You can't shoot that guy. The hunchback. You can't shoot the hunchback. So, you, this actually, we he, we talked to this guy in the first episode, so that can basically give you an idea of where we are. So we have more motorcycle guys. Once wow. again, they're impossible to kill. Wow, um, they're messing me up. <laughs> so we're down to three hit points. Uh, we're, and now we're down to two hit points. Okay. Obviously, <laughs> this is not great. No, you um, so that's why Golgo is just kind of looking at us because he knows he's, like, I'm about he's got to he's got two seconds of walking. Like he yeah. doesn't even have to get hit because because again, life is unfair, and as you walk through <laughs> life, you just lose it. So Eve Christie is waiting for us. She's the second girl, so she's not the one that's been taken this into his hands. <laughs> no, this isn't. I'm like, oh, okay. We have we're meeting her in the hotel. Oh, we're meeting her. He is addressing hotel, us. To to oh, right we're now. gonna get our health back, are we? Ah, and now we're David. Going to allow a woman to have sex with us. Yes. See, Golgo is the embodiment of the tail. Very active in the assassination, but very passive in the sexual realm. Just late. That's true. Not happening yet. Mm -hmm. So that's I, comma, M, Eve Christie. But and whatever. Eve Christie's gonna come have sex with us. So she's friends with Cherry Grace, our well, other girlfriend. So she got the. She's like, how does Gogo like it? He just likes to lay there. Okay, I got this kind of conversation so went on between. We're gonna think about this because she's been captured by Drek, which is well, that short guy. Do Drek do that? How did she get into the hotel? And so Oz Wyndham, uh -huh. the guy that we met earlier, he's getting a helicopter ready for us. Okay. See, he comes back in. Dirk Bullet will never come back into the story. Dirk Bullet. So, why do we trust this girl? Um, you can see her breasts in the Japanese version as well, but not here because we have to press A. Not because here. Nintendo of America has removed the seeing nudity option. Give so, as many guns as you want. Yeah, there's other censorship. In the instruction manual, they could not refer to Golgo 13 as an assassin. They had to call him a spy because Nintendo of America thought assassination was too violent. But we still have... But the assassination... But you still assassinate people. Yes. And the blood spraying out of the headshots the sniper is taking remain in the game. Mm. Shows are weird... Moral judgments. Yeah. I, you know, 
we have weird morals. So Golgo's looking at us like, you know what so, I just did. Yeah, we're <laughs> now I'm back in uh, now I'm back in the other room. Juke Togo, by the way. That's his, his real name. name. It's his real name. Golgo. That's probably not his real name. Well, it's his spy name. Yeah, it's like James Bond. It's his not Double code name. Seven. Name. This is Duke Togo, Golgo thirteen. Hmm. So now we have to go left of the Parthenon. Oh man, these tele these uh left. A lot of motorcycles. These motorcycle guys are the worst. Wow, they got some vertical leaps on their motorcycles. Wow. Yeah. They don't look too bad. I mean, even you're dodging them. I mean, you can. <laughs> David. Ah! <laughs> uh, I'm gonna edit that out. I'm gonna edit big, out. A little big. It's no, you're not. I'm gonna edit out every time you guys don't admit that I'm great. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna edit together parts of the conversations <laughs> okay, to the say parts that he does well what I want. The ones that have been a done communist. are the ones that have been done numerous times. Okay. It's all gonna be taken out. It's just gonna be you guys going, Zach, you are great. <laughs> 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 Obviously. So this asshole is like, uh, you shouldn't be proud of taking people out in rapid fire. Like, bitch, I have 400 bullets. Like, I will take people out however I want to. <laughs> you have a Colt that holds 400 bullets. Alright, so, okay, uh, how, how many shots are these cons? So the ladies are two. Um, they crouch. Look at them crouching. Yeah. Look so this is where you find out a little bit about the gameplay uh -huh. in that, um, People who are ducking down to shoot will do, oh. at most, three, um, three shots, and then stand back up. They might do less than that, but they will never do more than three. So once you see the third shot, just open fire and hope for the best. So these bazooka guys are the worst. They can fire either up, forward, or down randomly. There's there's no there's no AI to it. You just walk right under them. Um, yeah. well, you think that, but and then there are more. There are more, yes. Um, they oh, God. And they it's, like, do... it's like Hammer Bros right now. Yeah, yeah, they take, like, five to ten. Wow. They five to ten, so it's very And they take cool. out, like, half of your health with one bazooka shot. So they, so... Oh, and if they go off the screen and then come back on, their health breaks off, obviously. <laughs> um, so... So, like I said, if they shoot downwards with every shot, they will kill you, even from full health, before you can kill them. So you have to hope that sometimes they fire upwards or just in the wrong direction. This time you run through and you just bazooka past them. Um, no pun intended. And just run into this room where we meet uh, Al an, an <laughs> <laughs> a African American. <laughs> He's not <laughs> down there. <laughs> Spartacus, and he looks like Greco. he looks like disco as fuck in this one. This is great, <laughs> and the lights are going too. This is like a disco fight. It is fantastic. Oh Look at those bell bottoms. That's brilliant. So he's probably gonna kill you the first time because you had to just like bowl your way past all the bazooka men. Again? Um, I don't think you do. It just puts you straight in the maze. Oh I edit through God. to here. That was hilarious. You can shoot him a bunch of times. It's not gonna do any good. What you need to do is shoot him right as he lands. One shot kills him. That's okay. how boss fights work in this game. Uh -huh. I say boss fight, but... <laughs> oh, we're in a maze, but now oh. not. Yeah, that maze was very short. Okay. Um... <laughs> <laughs> you thought it was Spartacus. <laughs> I was like, holy cow! <laughs> no, okay. Different guy. This is, no, it's Ox Wyndham. Okay. So, I love this. He's like, uh, do you know about the guy who stole my weapon? And Gold goes, he's like, no, I don't. And then Gold goes, like, ellipses. And we think about that for a little bit. Liar! And then Ox Wyndham says ellipses. I hope he doesn't know that I'm lying. And then the conversation ends. So we're down to 44 bullets, which is rough, but fortunately blowing up the bullets of the plane um, gives, gives us bullets. I don't want to be back near that edge because they come with crap. Um, no, uh, this no. is where I'm trying to blow up a submarine, but you can't really blow up a submarine. So no, just shoot it. But if you shoot its missiles, you get bullets from it. Um, yeah, these are pretty easy. Um, oh, we have this thing again. Bullets, and there, see, I did much better that time. 
blowing that thing up. Whatever it is. So everything else here is a real thing. It doesn't make sense to deploy it against one man, because it's like submarines. Yeah. <laughs> I, I feel and like this is we're shooting. I mean, we're shooting down jet fighters with a high D, which I think does make us Liquid Snake. Um, but yeah, it just goes on like this. Probably won't die in these seconds. I mean, unless something just, like, screws up, but... amount of military Yeah, I, I don't even know who it is anymore. I think it's now... I think the KGB is done with us, and by this point, these are all just... Because they ran out of planes. I think this is just direct airplanes. Yeah, because we're gonna... Well, wait until you find out who... more about Drek. So, Sounds like someone's memeing Drake. Right? So we have a uh, question mark exclamation point okay. down there. Oh, well, that's gone. Okay. Wow. Okay. Oh. We're safe. I, I don't know what that indicates. Um, it was there. <laughs> it was there, now it's gone. Was there. <laughs> yeah. So, um, that, and there we go. Jet fires are ways to kill. Helicopters are very annoying. Um, yeah, but jet fighters are not too bad. Submarines are good. Jet fighters are going to come at freight. Yeah. Helicopters. Uh, we don't see these things. And the, this one, the and, Ewok with the fireball. So, uh, yeah. Basically just this. Um, this level does kind of go on for a while, but we are heading to the, the basically the enemy's secret base, so. So is this Golgo's private helicopter? Um, no, this was a hot helicopter given to us by Ox Wyndham. Oh. Dude, we're not sure whether he knows who has the cap. Yeah. So we're still using the Colt. Yes. The Python. The Python. Alright, so a, a bomb has been set on the copter. Oh my but goodness. how could a bomb be on our helicopter? Yeah, and wouldn't have Gogo have noticed? When Ox Windham have noticed it. Mm. Something we just trusted Ox Windham. Ooh. Something Maybe seems just... very suspicious. That's why we didn't believe him when he said that he did not know where our gun was. And I hope you guys will be joining us to solve the riddle of Golgo 13 in the next episode. Oh, you betcha. <laughs>